Welcome to realistic retro fishing, I guess. <laughs> we are here on the bank uh, just outside Nashville, Tennessee with one of my favorite YouTubers, Realistic Fishing. I'm going to be following him around at some of his local honey holes and no surprise, I bought nothing but some old school gear along to see if we can tempt some of these bass to hit. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. So I did something I haven't done before and I put out a little poll on the Retro Bass and YouTube channel last night with some photos of different old school worms asking you guys to decide which one I fish with first. Winning like almost 50% of the votes was this, an OG power worm and it's, it's even got that old formula. He says it smells like peanut butter. <laughs> I think it might smell like peanut butter. I got a feeling I'm going to get whooped today. <laughs> $30 bait caster. <laughs> this is the Ozark Trail from two years ago from Walmart, still going strong. All right, are you a mono guy or are you a uh, floral guy? Mono all the way. For stretch and abrasion resistance. <laughs> That is a cool looking little fish, actually. Yeah, it's got a big mouth. He can go for a lure. <laughs> That's yeah. one. All right, made a little adjustment. I was getting way too many weeds with that first weight, so I went down from, um, I got was like three sixteenths down to an eighth. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Well, I lost my first worm of the day. This package is so old, it doesn't even have the outside. It's just got the uh, the plastic. No, uh, no cardboard, but I am 100% sure that is a Berkeley power worm. And now I'm down to four of them. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. It's getting clobbered today. Got him. <laughs> nice fish. Yeah, right, buddy. We got a half pounder here. It's <laughs> all right. You see, that's like a three all day in my book. Yeah, if you hold it out for him. Hold it out. A little forced perspective. Yeah, there we go. Look at that thing. <laughs> so, wait, did he hit on top or did you just rip him up to the top? Mm, kind of, he hit on top. Okay, okay. When you're coming through those weeds, you gotta kind of be on top. You gotta roll it in, otherwise you'll lose them. Dinky. <laughs> but it's a fish, number two. So what's the uh, craziest catch you've made on film? Craziest catch? Uh, you know, probably something with chat cats fishing, like a 60 pound blue catfish. I also caught a dead trout with in the mouth somehow, <laughs> like a few years ago at a, in a trout video. <laughs> I think that's legal though. If it's in the mouth, that counts. Yeah. That counts. No, I don't know if I'd eat it. I didn't eat it. <laughs> I think what happened was it had a hook in its mouth and a line snagged on something and it died and I caught the line and it drifted all the way down <laughs> to its mouth. Better one. Oh, that is a better one. <laughs> All right. And an oar. <laughs> All right, check him out. That's actually a nice bass. Yeah, not bad. Holding them out, long arming them. Oh, that's the Guggen pose. Nice. Yeah, it's actually about a pound and a half, maybe. See, I like that technique that you are burning that sucker. 
Well, did he hit on top? No. This okay. one actually hit it after it dove down. It's a healthy looking bass though. Yeah. Nice. All right, fish number three. For you. Your turn. For you. Retro, let's go. For you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like every collaboration video I ever do, I just end up being the cameraman. <laughs> Well, I'm down three to nothing on the old power worm, so I think I'm gonna switch it up. The second vote getter on my little YouTube channel poll was this, an old discontinued worm from Cream called the pigtail. <laughs> Check that out. You look at the tail on this thing, it like coils up. Oh yeah, cool. That's like that, uh, what was it called? Walking worm? It is a little it is a little walking worm esque, actually. I have some, but I never caught anything on it. Alright, well we're off at stop number two. I am getting spanked here on the bank by realistic fishing. No surprise. Uh down three to nothing. We're uh, at another spot he calls the log and it's super tight. I don't even think I can get a tripod down there. So I'm gonna set the old tripod up on the uh, parking lot here and walk on down into that sort of little poison ivy jungle to try to catch a bass on the old Berkeley power worm. <laughs> so right down here, huh? Yeah. All right. Ugh. This is sketchy at best. So if you look in there, you can see kind of where parts of the log are sticking up. You want to have a weedless, slow go at it because you're going to be dragging it over underwater logs down there. You start out this way? All from that way all the way across kind of where I'm standing here. And go slow or you'll snag logs. Okay. Right, so we moved on over to the boat ramp. Didn't have anything by the logs, so uh, I've always liked boat ramps historically. I don't know why. Got him? What do you got? I think I got the bottom. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> a lot of bubbles. I think I killed a carp. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think I was a fish. Nah. What year did you start realistic fishing? And did you start like hardcore or did you kind of dip your toe in first and then go? I started hardcore. I think five and a half, six years ago, I waited till I had 10 videos pre-made and then I started the channel. Okay. Yeah. And How long I, did it take you to get your first uh, like thousand subs? Was that quick? Yeah, six months maybe. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm up to 92,000. Close I'm, to the button. I'm trying to You're get the, the button. I'm trying <laughs> to get the damn button. <laughs> And without sponsors, you do not get rich doing YouTube. <laughs> Just letting everyone know. I feel like my monthly tackle bill is higher than my monthly YouTube check. Yeah, my real bills are higher than my YouTube check, that's for sure. <laughs> so did you have the exact vision for the channel when you started, or did that morph at all? No, I had the vision uh, before I even started. I was watching guys like... Fat Boy Dan and yes. Fishing with Joe, Uncle Steve, and then I saw these other younger kids who I won't name take over, <laughs> and they turned it into a scream fest, you know, running around screaming, victory lap, hoo 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 kind of stuff, and I, uh, I wanted to throw my hat in the ring and show what it's actually like. It's more like when you go fishing with Uncle Steve in real life. What I like most about your channel too is that it keeps fishing accessible to everybody. Yeah. I think too many people when they watch some of these channels think they need a, uh, you know, a boat that costs more than a sports car, probably ten thousand dollars of electronics, rods and reels, and mm -hmm. you're like, fishing no, with this what? whole rig's forty bucks. Yeah. I wonder if I could catch that carcass out there. No, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> well, realistic and I just pulled up to spot number three on the day. This place is apparently called Skeletor Park. Uh, I think there might be a fish or two. It's pretty weedy, pretty shallow, and I'm switching up 
Uh, the old Berkeley Power Worm wasn't super powerful for me today, so I've got this one, the old Action Lowers Breathing Worm, and uh, we'll see if I can actually get on the board. Swamp, I like it. <laughs> hey, it totally counts though. <laughs> it does count. Ripping lips. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is, uh, that is a monster. Look at that. <laughs> I was trying to outdo you on the small fish of the day. I think I just did. Yeah. <laughs> look at that guy. Pounder with cheese. I think they like it more. I think they like it more. Ah, uh, sweet. This is about a pound. Yeah. Oh man, that was like 10 pounds of hook set on four ounces of bass. Yeah, came out of the water though. <laughs> Got him. Alright, mission complete. <laughs> mission complete. I can start fishing. That is my uh, Tennessee uh, PB. So. Congratulations. <laughs> it can only get better from here. I actually did make one change that you recommended too. So I've been pegging these all day long and this one I actually left unpegged. So there you go. Yeah. All right, so you got one lure to cast for the rest of your life. What is it? Oh, baby brush hog. Baby, what color? Green pumpkin. All right, how much weight? Oh man. One weight, you can't change it. You gotta like, this is your lure forever. Eighth ounce. Okay. Yeah, probably a spinning rod. If I had to pick one forever, yeah. Spinning rod, eight pound test, baby brush hog, eight ounce weight. Got him. The moment of truth. <laughs> Hold on, let me get past the trash pile. <laughs> trash fish here. It is a trash. Ooh. All right. That's that. about the same size as yours, maybe. No, that's bigger. All right. I can lie to you. <laughs> that's a bluish fish. Look at that color on that guy. Yeah, not bad. That's awesome. Man. Old hickory special here. <laughs> Line's all tangled. I'll slightly impede my casting uh, ability. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how does that even happen? Oh, that's how it happens. I missed a guide. <laughs> yeah, the real key to distance casting for me is to skip as many of the raw islets as possible. So, just every, every extra islet you put the line through, it adds to the friction. So, really, if you can just just do the front one and the back one, you're probably the Probably the best bet. <laughs> just, from the reel to the top. just from the reel to the top. That's all you need, really. You don't. You don't even. Yeah. Just. And pro tip. <laughs> Almost didn't even want to share that tip, but but I will today. Just. <laughs> the best part is I fished like three hours with it like that. You know. I just. Yes. Didn't notice it. All right. Favorite professional wrestler of all time. Oh man, I don't know. Favorite hero, favorite villain. How about that? Villain, Mr. Perfect. <laughs> All right. He was my favorite uh, for a long time. And then I think, oh man, you know, Hulk Hogan. It's got to be Hulk Hogan. It's just a classic. Yeah. It's like the power worm of, of wrestling. Yeah, he was actually, you know, personal life aside, his character was a good role model, unlike a lot of them now. I liked his message. It was kind of an all-American, American kind of thing. Vitamins and prayers and yeah, a little bit different than you know, the, the modern day baby faces. Mm-hmm. Mr. Perfect, I like it. I was more of a Jake the Snake kind of guy. Yeah, is he a heel? I guess. Ah, yeah, that was the, that was a, yeah, you're right. He could be sort of the. Oh. <laughs> Almost took one to the chest right there. So we're at the lucky unlucky spot. So does that mean it's like lucky for you and unlucky for me? No, it means it's lucky over there and unlucky over there. Oh. But I still catch fish on that side too. <laughs> I 
do you get him in? Boys. Fish. Oh, missed him. Did you hear him? Right there. Oh. So we're just pulling up to the final stop of the day. Um, all right. I'm just pulling up to the final stop of the day. We're hitting a little private lake that Realistic Fishing uh, is a member of. And apparently in the GPS, there's two of these such lakes uh, in the Tennessee vicinity. So uh, old retro went to the wrong one. <laughs> 55 minutes later, I am here. He is smoking some bluegill and I'm gonna try to catch a final bass. Let's show him. Look at this, oh my gosh. Look at that's a nice fish. <laughs> Pretty good. Let's get him right up in there. <laughs> Going with the power worm. Went back to the power worm. <gasps> you got him? Fish on. Oh, nice fish. Woo! <laughs> nice fish. Come on, Sam. <laughs> Alright, get him through them sticks. Get in here. <laughs> yeah, buddy. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. Nice little bass on the old power worm. <laughs> you think it smells like jelly? Mm -hmm. I feel like it smells like peanut butter. I don't know. You said peanut butter. I smell peanut butter. Hey, maybe it's the fish. <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh, that is super cool. Two fish today. Two fish. Nice little fish, though. All day long. Awesome. Do the logs in this lake swim sideways? No, typically not. It wasn't a log. <laughs> Alright guys, just wrapping up on the bank with Realistic Fishing. Uh, can't thank him enough for the little tour of his honey holes just outside of Nashville, Tennessee. Definitely checked a couple things off the bucket list today, including catching my first ever Tennessee bass. Didn't do as well as I hoped, but at least I didn't get the old skunkaroo. As we're talking about on the bank, Realistic is knocking on the door of that YouTube all important 100,000 subscribers. That button is on the way soon. So if you don't already uh, subscribe to Realistic Fishing, and I've got a feeling most of you bass and buds do, but if you don't, get on over there, hit that subscribe button, and definitely turn the notifications on. Until next time, keep the carpet side up, fish it old school, and definitely keep it realistic. <laughs> Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin.